little gal named Sally Gordon, and I asked her to marry me, and she said you wouldn't. <laughs> Welcome back to the wonderful Ozark Mountains, discussing the FS-12T Ascend Bass Pro Shops Sit on Top Kayak. Well, what I'm going to discuss on this little video are the different ways that I uh, hold on to fish, other than on the rod, um, but I, uh, different ways that I have come across of having a, uh, a place to hold the fish uh, once I've caught them. Uh, when I catch them, I should rather say. Um, one of the things that I've made, and yeah, this is certainly nothing new, but this is something I made, um, is a stringer, but a little bit different. What I wanted was something that wouldn't be directly next to me, something that would have at least somewhat minimal drag and something that would float. So what I came up with was this is from a stringer that I got at I'm not sure Walmart or Academy or just sporting goods store. Just a normal one but it didn't have these. It had just the line they were supposed to loop through the fish's mouth and gills and whatnot. Well, that bunches them all up, unless you start tying knots and everything, which I didn't really want to take that kind of time. So, what I did was I found just these metal pieces for a uh, stringer, bought them, and combined them with this line. About every, well, the first part is about 18, 19, 20 inches or so from the end. And I'll take this and I'll attach it, loop it through, tie it off somewhere, and then every so often tie a knot and attach these other metal stringers. then at the end, a float. This is just a piece of, uh, of foam. I've looped this around uh, and attached so that when this is in the water, this end will be floating and will be trailing back behind me. And a kayak, if you're, you're doing a lot of move me, moving with the kayak, and you've got a couple of fish on, if you have something right next to you, well, your tracking is going to be way, way off. And so what I'm hoping with this is that, well, and it has worked pretty well so far, is that this will just trail right behind me. And yes, it'll still be a drag, but it won't be quite as off with my tracking. Very Something very simple to make. And what I do is I, whenever it's not in use, is I will just simply roll this on so that again I don't have any loose rope around the boat. And then I'll just stow this back behind. Nice and easy. Now the other thing that I have made and that I really like a lot, um, but I have one problem with it, is a fish well. Now this isn't a live well that sits inside the boat. This sits outside the boat. Let me see if I can make sure you guys see this here. The other thing that I use to hold the fish that I've caught is this. And I made this myself and there's different designs of this. Um, this is a pool noodle and I have put some uh, wire coat hanger. Extremely great stuff to have. That and duct tape. Mm, make anything. Anyway, take some wire coat hanger, run it inside 
the pool noodle and clamp it together. You've got a pool noodle here. This, my net, is simply uh, some cheap, I think $3 or so, $3, $4 um, laundry hamper bag. Again, you get it at Walmart. It's not as good as real good fishing uh, net um, netting, the, the, the modern great, great, great stuff, but it does a good job. Um, it's fairly light. Um, it is a nylon, but it's not a, a thick weave, um, a very open weave, which will catch a lot. And I've not had any problem with, with the fish that I've caught on this. Um, and I just stretched it over, as you can see here. And then I sewed right along the edge here so that the net or the bag wraps around the tube so it holds it. Drapes down. And it has a drawstring so that... Once I've caught something, it's not going to jump out. If you didn't have that drawstring here, you have a possibility of them just jumping right out. So I just draw that drawstring up, and it keeps it fairly good. And so what this will do is it'll just sit there and float right beside you. Whenever I've got a, a fish on, I'll come in, undo this, open it up a little bit, put my fish in there, take the hook off, close it back up, and let it float beside me. Now the problem that I have with this is it really introduces a lot of drag. Even shaped the way it is, you'd think it wouldn't be too bad, but it really, it, it does quite a bit of drag. Um, I like it, but I tend to move around a lot and move great distances whenever I kayak um, uh, lakes. So this introduces quite a bit of drag and it really messes with your tracking. But still, I really like it. And how do I keep it attached? Well, the bag comes with this loop. And I attach this loop to what? That's right. To a dog leash. The retractable dog leash that I use for so many different things. Keep that right beside me or let it trail off just a little bit and that works really really well. I'm really happy with it and it's something I made myself. Um, very inexpensive too. So those are the two methods that I that I use to keep my fish once I have caught them. End of this video.